Okay, what do you got here, Miss So? Sue? I'll do it. Yeah, I'll try to read this. So you had the vocabulary that was from the unit either 24, 24 21, 22, yeah, 24. 24. Just kidding, 25. Yeah. <laughs> Whatever. There was a happy couple who lived in Houston. The man made a commitment to do everything for his girlfriend. Uh, they were not rich, but they loved each other. They thought that the, the fundamental rule of marriage was to trust each other. Good example? Yeah, that's right. A fundamental rule. Uh, foundational <coughs> rule of marriage. That's exactly how I would phrase it, right? Fundamental principle of this. A fundamental rule of that. Uh, something like that. Good. Was to trust each other. That's a fundamental rule. Yeah. Uh, they did not have a formal wedding, but the woman wanted to acquire a diamond ring. <laughs> nice. Wanted to get a diamond ring. She thought that the diamond ring symbolized the man's loyalty to her. This is very good grammar, by the way. Good job. Yeah. yeah it does symbolize the, lo uh, the man's loyalty to her. But the man couldn't afford to buy a uh, diamond ring. So he decided to steal it. Uh, <laughs> he became solemn, all right, while he tried to steal the ring uh, uh, at a jewelry store. Very good, yeah. He was caught by the owner of the jewelry store. Finally, he went to jail, and the woman uh, resented what her boyfriend did. Uh, oh, had done. Yeah. Uh, she left him with spite. Yes. Yeah, you left him with spite. Yeah. Or maybe I might phrase it a little different. She left him maybe out of spite. Or maybe because of spite, right? That's the idea. But that's okay. With spite, too. Wow. Good example. Good example. All right. Good, good. Somebody else had Yay! Give her a hand! Yeah. 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 Uh, there aren't words that are tough to... So, Beverly's not going to evaluate your speaking of these pronunciation of these words? No. Oh. So, you've got to know what they mean, right? You got something too? Why not? Yes, From yesterday? Yeah. All right. All right, okay. I remember Zhao had a cool idea too. You want me to read your story too, Zhao? You and uh, Ricky, right? You two work together? Okay, okay. Oh, but this is Parks? Okay, got it. Okay. <coughs> Or his handwriting too. <laughs> <laughs> it's awful. <laughs> no, well that's it. Okay. All right. Hmm. All right. Uh, Samsung's lawyer has an uh, event of of a professional conflict between Samsung and Apple. Okay. The lawyer is searching uh, resources uh, for the conflict for Samsung. So, so he has a great. He has great stress, stress is non-countable, he has great stress from uh, the procedure uh, of it, <coughs> the procedure of it, okay? Right. Yeah, procedure, you guys know that word, right? Yeah, the, how to do something, <coughs> suing someone, whatever, okay? Now, now, uh, yeah, star sunny. <laughs> Now, not able, and beat lawyer. Oh, okay, I got it. Wow. I was teasing him yesterday. I was like, you didn't read this. Like, what did he do? Put the pen in his mouth? That way? I'm not I'm just Now, Samsung was not able to beat the lawyer, the Apple's lawyer, right? Uh, yeah, yeah. But Samsung's lawyer will convert this situation. Good. Uh, yeah, to their advantage or something, maybe. I could finish that idea. Yeah, to convert is to change. And you know the word convert is often used to mean like a person changes a religion, right? Yeah, I convert, <coughs> I convert to Catholicism, I convert to Judaism or something. Uh, it means change. Um, yeah, but you can use it that way too, yeah. The lawyer's action will make a, 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 a unanimous, and I know it begins with the letter U, okay? But uh, it's the first sound is a, is a consonant sound. Uh, the word I'm talking about is uh, unan. What is it? Unanimous. I believe this is right. Um, if you, you, you it would be a, uh, a unanimous. Decision. Even though the first letter is U, 
the pronunciation is a, as a consonant, you, you. Um, and so for that reason, I, I believe I would, I would do it that way. I mean, I certainly couldn't say ununanimous. That sounds, sounds funny to me. New information, maybe, huh? <laughs> yeah, the whole thing about a and an is about the ease of pronunciation, not, not, not a rule of writing. It's about pronouncing it the right way. You choose a or an. But she wrote down ununanimous, right? Well, I think you mean uh, unanimous, because the first sound is a, is a consonant right there. So, uh, you. You all know what I'm talking about? Uh -huh. Yeah, otherwise I might say an apple, right? That, that's just to help with the pronunciation of things. Uh, it's not so much a rule of, of grammar or something. Oh. Okay. Yeah, anyway, that's how I, I would do it. That's a rule. <laughs> well, it's a rule for sure, yeah. Yeah, when I'm from Vietnam, it's a rule. Well, it's definitely a rule, but in, in a good way to think about it is usually the first letter is a vowel, and yeah, put an A, and put an N. But I don't pronounce it with a vowel at the beginning, I pronounce it with a, a consonant sound at the beginning, right? O A I. How about this? I, ha I don't mean to, you know, to ignore this. I have, I have uh, an honest friend. Check this out. Yeah, that's correct. That's right. An hour or two. Mm -hmm. yeah. An hour as well, because the H is silent. Yeah. <clears throat> Even though it's a consonant, you know, I don't put uh, honest. You know, I have to put un because of the pronunciation. It has to flow, because this is a vowel sound. Does that make sense? Yeah. Yeah, yeah you got it. You got it. The same, same, so the opposite is true up here, right? Anyway. That's just not, not a big deal. Okay. Um, make a, a unanimous <coughs> approval from uh, the jury. All right. <laughs> Thank you. All right, what do you have here? Now, I remember your story. You're, you're... <coughs> okay, I'll read this, but you might have to explain what's going on. <laughs> I mean, you have beautiful handwriting here, but... No, the... no, no, it's not. That's not it. <laughs> oh, sorry, here, yeah. But the situation is so complete. you got five people, and... Okay. Let's see if you guys can figure out her story. Okay. Learning some new vocabulary too, right? Uh, I think we can, we can turn it. This side first? Yeah. <laughs> now that the short one, the short one is the real one, and the long one is another thing. Oh, you have something different over here. Okay. <laughs> That's a... Okay, good. Gotcha, thank you. A father uh, calls home to check his wife. That's the situation. A father calls home to check his wife. Uh, where's your mother? All right. And the baby says, hey, do you guys want to perform this? <laughs> you just come up here and do that. Yay, come up here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is a. Uh, yeah, why not? Well, they make, make, make more sense when you come up here. I, 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 I don't. I, I. <laughs> come on, man. Use your words. Will you trust that? Uh, 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 I, 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 um. I. <laughs> Father and the son. What? Why? No. The Hawaii. All right. And yeah, so a father calls home. A father calls home to check his wife. Where's your mom? Where's your mother? Uh, to be frank to you, mother is staying in her room with some guy. <laughs> but this overwhelming thing, I cannot comprehend it. Whatever you go upstairs and yell. Daddy is coming and then t talk to me. After a few minutes, the kid come back. The kid comes back and say, "I'm anxious, Daddy. After I did that, that guy just jumped out the window with mother and drowned in the swimming pool." This is a dramatic Consequence. consequences. But when our when when did, when did yeah. When did our house? When did our house have a swimming pool? Oh. Oh, it isn't Ricky's house. No. <laughs> <laughs> what? Sorry, we're wrong number. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> nice, nice, good story. Yeah. All right. I, uh, 
but I checked it yesterday, and the, the words uh, are uh, good use of your vocabulary in here. So, let's see, father calls home to check his wife. Wait, can someone say, summarize what basically happened there? Did you, did you catch what that was about? Let me see a bit. Mm. Yeah, Dom, you know what happened? Yeah, explain. What happened? Uh, the guy, he wants to know his wife. Uh, he, he, his wife cheated on him or mm -hmm. not? And he called, he made the phone call and he tell the kids, talk to your mom and that guy. And uh, then uh, his wife and that guy, they ran away. Mm -hmm. I think they, they did something stupid. And then the guy find out he called the wrong number. <laughs> <laughs> okay, wow. Good, yeah. You registered the first time. That was kind of complex. So, um, so where's your mother? To be frank to you, to be frank, uh, maybe with you, I often say to be frank with you. Yeah, frank is an adjective. It means honest. honest. And usually painfully honest, right? Like the character on Everybody Loves Raymond, the father. It's a good way to remember that. Uh, mother is staying in her, her room with some guy. And that is frank. That is very frank, yes. And... And I would describe you as frank, honestly. Yes, honest all the time. Yeah. All right. Who, what? Uh, this is overwhelming to me. Good. I, uh, too much. Overwhelming. Yeah, it's too much stress. Uh, I cannot comprehend it. Everybody say, comprehend. Comprehend. Yeah. Understand. You guys know that <coughs> word. All right. Oh, uh, whatever. You go upstairs and yell, Daddy is coming. All right. And then talk to me. Okay. After a few minutes. Okay. Uh, the, ki the kid came back. Here we go. <clears throat> I'm anxious. Everybody say anxious. Anxious. Yeah, which means nervous, right? Yeah. After, uh, after I did that, that guy uh, just jumped, past tense, jumped out of the window with mother and drowned in uh, the swimming pool. Drowned. And they died from water, right? This is a dramatic consequence. Is that, which word is it? Consequence is your no, word? No, traumatic. Dramatic. <laughs> yes, it is. You guys have a dramatic consequence. But uh, when did our house get out, uh, have a swimming pool? Oh, this is Ricky's house? What? Oh, sorry, wrong number. Yeah, got it. Nice, nice breakup. Good, good. Okay, so how about you have a... That's all three of the scripts we have. Here. Of those, what is it? Uh, 11 through 15, I got photocopies from out of here. Was there a word in that pack of... Did you feel kind of, you know, before we move on to some something from your reading book? Let's see. You had words like, hmm, go back over these again. Let's see. You had words like, uh, assume, conscious. Oh, yeah. Oh, you know what? I'm sorry. I'm looking at the wrong. Yeah, 21 through 25, yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm advanced A. All right. Let's see if there's one in particular here. It's really tricky for you folks. Come on. Yeah, conflict, convert, possess, procedure, renew, resources, stress, unanimous, vary, vicinity. All right, I'll tell you what. I'll just ask you real quick. I'll just quiz you real quick. See if you know this. All right, what does, what does, okay, the, um, the price of cell phones varies often. What does vary mean? Uh, change. Change, yeah, yeah, yeah. Change. I'm gonna, okay, I'll just make it anybody. Everybody, I don't think this calling on people is going to work. Yeah, good. You know what it means? To vary, and it's spelled just like V. V-A-R-Y. V-A-R-Y. Yeah, it's pronounced just like uh, V-E-R-Y, right. Yeah. It, it, it varies very often. Yeah. Okay. Uh, oh, hey, uh, my, I heard, uh, I believe there's a robbery happening um, somewhere uh, I, um, in the vicinity. Because the I, yeah? Back, uh, yard. In the neighborhood, in the garage, or whatever. Yeah, in the, in the nearby area. Right. Good, good. Yeah, okay. Okay, let's move on here. Let's see. Okay, I think unanimous, you guys are 100% agreement, right? Um, let's see. My, my cat has a tendency to uh, defecate on the... Habit. My, uh, on, uh, to poop on the carpet. Habit. Habit. Everybody say tendency. 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 Yeah. Actually, here's another way use of that word, tendency. Uh, uh, my 
cat uh, tends to uh, you know, poop on uh, the carpet. Uh, okay. As a verb, you can use it tends to, or, like I said, uh, has a tendency. And that's the noun, right? Tend to would be the verb for that. Okay, cool, you know that. Good. Let's see. You had the 23. Okay. Got the word assert, clarify, evade, extend, precaution, precaution. Oh, uh, pre oh, all okay. right. No. Hey, I have a I have a preconception about um, uh, Viet mind. Vietnamese food, huh? Oh, a judgment, right? Okay, cool. I've never had Vietnamese food, really, but I'm assuming it's probably a lot of fish, you know, ah, something like that. That's my that's my preconception about Vietnamese food. Am I right? Yeah, yeah. Okay. It's a judgment. Pre. Let's say that together. Preconception. Preconception. Yeah, preconception. Yeah, yeah. Uh, by the way, you know the word conception. <coughs> Concept is idea. That's right. It's an idea. Idea. You know what? Um, I don't know if this helps you. Okay, but conception is also used another way. Do you guys know? Uh, when uh, the beginning of a pregnancy. Beginning of a pregnancy. The conception of a baby is when the the egg and the sperm come together. Mm -hmm. That's conception. Like the beginning, like of creation, that kind of thing. And the same thing is like the creation of an idea. You create an idea before, pre, before you experience it. Conception is of a person is when the sperm and the egg come together. Is conception uh, verb form is conceive? Yes, to conceive, yeah. So oftentimes young, uh, young married couples, they try to conceive a baby. But have difficulty, right? Yeah. So they're having difficulty conceiving. Yes, conceive, right? And I use the word conceive for like the creation of ideas too. Same, same thing. Good. Uh, cool. The uh, these rules are too rigid, huh? Um, rigid. It's hard. Strict. Strict. Not flexible. Not flexible. Strict. Good. Good. Yeah. Yeah. It's a bad thing, right? Too rigid. Rigid. Yeah. Inflexible. Okay. Um, hmm. Please, uh, I don't, um, I don't know what you mean by that expression. Could you clarify, please? Make it clear. Make it clear, right. Clarify is make it clear. Comes from the word clear. Okay, 24. You got 24, 25. Okay, let's see. Uh, this will be a little, little game show. See if you, who can beat Zhao, right? <laughs> who can beat Zhao? Uh, there's... Okay. The, mm, mm. the uh, my uh, 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 I, I told my nephew to wash my car. Okay, he did it, but he wasn't thorough. He wasn't careful. thorough. What does thorough mean? Perfect. Huh? Careful. Or perfect or careful. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. <coughs> thorough. Yeah. You complete it. Yeah. You do it to completion. Mm -hmm. That's kind of the idea. Careful. careful is a good synonym for that, I think. Yeah. Um, but yeah, maybe he's more careful to to be to make sure it's complete, <coughs> thorough. Yeah. I always like to uh, check my, my lock my back door when I go to sleep at night. Precaution. Yeah, as a precaution, <laughs> I go to check. <laughs> I, I go to check my lock, I uh, lock my doors, uh, the back door and the front door. Uh, I check it maybe twice, just to be thorough, as a precaution. Yeah. Wow. All right, good. All right, trying to read my mind. Okay. Uh, oh, this, uh, this muffin is inferior to all other muffins. Worse than you. Yeah, it's worse. Good. All right, you got that. Thorough. Overwhelmed, anxious, comprehend. Good job. Right, last one. Y'all sound seem very confident with these. No problem. Okay. Uh, okay. Let's try this. Um, the um, shoot. Uh, the uh, phew, hmm. uh, the this uh, this system uh, we have here uh, is fragmented. 
Okay. Uh, this is the many way I things, okay. small things, fragments. Okay. Okay. What were you saying there? You're right. Yeah. What's that? Uh, incomplete. Okay. Uh, well, you, you're on the right track, and then it's bad. Fragments. Small pieces. Small pieces. That's the idea, right? And I think you, yeah, you, you picture in your mind, right? Fragments is like little pieces of glass, right? And if I describe a person's life as fragmented, you know, <laughs> well, it's a broken in a lot of ways, yeah, and it's uh, it needs repair. Yeah, broken is a good synonym for that. Fragmented. Yeah. Fragments is usually associated with something negative, I, I think, you know. Um, okay. And, uh, ooh, let me see. Oh, how about that? Yeah. Hey, the, uh, mm, okay. The dinner on the, on the, on the date. The, 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 on the date. Hey, oh, 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 on, on the date, the uh, eating dinner will precede uh, a movie. Eating dinner will precede a movie. How about that? On a, on a date, uh, eating yeah. dinner will precede a movie. Oh, so what, what does that mean, Sue? Before watching movie. Yeah. You both right? You both think it's before? Yeah, pre. You get the word precede. It happens before. Okay, okay cool. So, sounds like y'all are familiar enough with these. How about... How about uh, you guys? Uh, you've got some words in here, right? You're, you're, are you studying for words in here on Tuesday? Am I right? Okay, what... What page? Help me out here. I'll, I'll uh, practice with you guys about that. What page are you looking at? For what, Tuesday or something? I don't know. I have no idea. That's okay. I'm not asking you then. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> 245. 245? All right. All right. Okay. Okay. Cool. These are fun. He's got some uh, idioms in there too. All right. 245 to uh, whatever. To 248, right? Mm -hmm. Right here, so it's unit practice nine, you guys are book four, right? Okay, good, good. Yeah, two, okay, so it's like 245 to uh, 248. Okay, good. Come clean. All right. So even if you don't have a book, that's all right. You can listen to this. Uh, answer the questions on a separate piece of paper. <laughs> okay. No, no. Um, all right. When does a balloon make a puff sound? That's, that's stupid. Okay. All right, never mind. All right, when does a balloon make a hissing sound, huh? Uh, what do you think? Anybody? Puff. Okay, first of all, what do you think puff means? I think that's the point of this, right? Blow up. Yeah, when you blow up, yeah, I could use that. I mean, there's, a, there's a fish called a puffer fish. Yeah. Puff also means to, uh, I can also puff a cigarette, kind of blow. I guess it's a synonym for blow, you know? Blowing air, all right? And hey, show me a hissing sound. What is that? Yeah, that's it. It's like a snake. That's a hiss. And, and also, I use the same word to describe what a cat does. You know? When he's angry, he's hissing. It's just that sound, right? Okay. Uh, if your stomach starts to growl, uh, what does that sound like? <laughs> You're hungry. Right, yeah. And if a dog starts to growl, it's err. You know, yeah, it's just that same. sound. Err. So you got a lot of sensory words in here, I guess, huh? Uh, okay, when, uh, when, when does the audience at a sporting event roar? <coughs> yeah. Just like a lion. Just like a lion, right? Okay. But when, when do they uh, roar at a sporting event? Yeah, when they, when they make a goal, right? Maybe oh. it's like cheering. It is a loud sound. It's kind of scary sound. I associate it with a lion, right? <clears throat> Rah, you know, a growl is not necessarily loud. It's uh, and a roar is ah. I, I, I hope that helps. Okay, um, and again, yeah, a roar is, sounds like there's danger coming. Of course, a growl sounds like there's danger too, but a roar is louder. Okay, and what types of drinks fizz when they open them? Coke. <coughs> Soda, that's right, Coke and soda, very good. It goes, and it makes a hissing sound. This is, okay. Uh, oh, gosh. What situations do animals snarl? Oh, someone show me a snarl. Someone show me a snarl. It's, yeah, show me, not, not make the sound. Snarl? Snarl. <laughs> nice try. 
All right, a snarl is like when your lip goes up like this a little bit. Yeah. It's a snarl. <laughs> and you're making an ugly face, like angry face. That's a snarl. <laughs> One lip goes up like that. And you know, same thing, dogs do that too. Yeah. <laughs> they, they snarl and they growl when they're angry. <coughs> so that's what that is. Everybody, let's try to practice that word. Snarl. 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 Right, right. And of course, show me a grunt. <laughs> what is the sound of a grunt? Hey, you know that sound? Uh, that's a, uh, uh. <laughs> a grunt is like, maybe think about a monkey, maybe. Uh, 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 uh. Or a uh, caveman or something. When I asked my husband, yeah. what do you want to drink for dinner? He just grunted at me. Uh. <laughs> Yeah, didn't make a sense, didn't make real words, he just made a, uh, I don't know. If you're grunting at someone, you're making uh, that sound, okay? All right, and, okay, what situations do people snort? Oh, gosh, show me a snort. The sound of a pig. It's like, <laughs> okay, I don't know how this is going to, how you're going to have a vocabulary test with this, but oh well. Oh well. Oh, She's going to make you say, yeah, yeah. do the right sound. Yeah. <laughs> She could do. I don't know. All right. Uh, okay. So you remember the word overwhelmed, right? It means yeah. too much stress. So well, what does overcharged mean? Char over. Overpaid. Yeah. You pay too much. Right. Yeah. Exactly. You pay too much. You have too much stress. Overwhelmed. All right. Over means too much. Right. Uh, do uh, domesticate. Oh, it is. It is not easy to domesticate a wild animal. Okay. That's true. Right. To tame. Right. To make it. Yeah, to domesticate, uh, to make it uh, civilized or something. Yeah, uh, an animal. I don't use it for a pe for people. Domesticate. I hope that makes sense. Is that cool? All doing all right? <laughs> all right. Um, everybody, let's see. I was oh incredulous when I saw the lion standing in my backyard. I was <coughs> in incredulous. I guess so. Uh, to be per perfectly honest, I can't remember exactly what incredulous means. I don't remember. I think it means what it means. I, I can't remember. I'm not going to try to guess, okay? So, yeah, I don't know. But the other ones I know. All right. So if you see a lion sweep sleeping in the wild, leave uh, a 200-foot radius. Yeah. What does a radius kind of look like? Just show me with your finger. Yeah. How about the circle? Very good. Oh, good. Right, right. So, I hear a lion in the vicinity. Uh, the vicinity is a 200-yard radius from right here. Yeah, and of course, you get, you get, you know, it's not what I'm talking about, right? Radius. It's a geometry thing. Here I am, somewhere in here, the lion is. Okay, and the bone. <laughs> Take the bone out. Take the bone out. D, the, the prefix D means to remove, right? Yeah. Uh, anti aging cream. Oh, you know what anti means. Yeah, yeah, yeah okay, yeah, skip that. Yeah. All right, so what else do you have here? Okay, I'm looking at page 246. Yay. All right, breeze, outskirts. Okay. Many people want to live in a way that is blank friendly. It means it's good for the trees, environmentally friendly. Yeah, yeah, easy. Okay. Uh, the damage that was that had been done to the environment is blank troubling. Deeply troubling, right? So that's a deeply is a is just a word that means very, very. Okay? And I often use it with the troubling. It just means very, very, you know, that's a, that's a very, very thing. All right. This is uh, deeply moving. This music is deeply moving. All right? Very, very uh, uh, emotionally satisfying. Okay. More and more people are talking blank. To taking action. Taking action. Did I say talking? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Taking action, doing something. All right? Good. You know that expression. Research will blank. Uh, sure. that, yeah, research shows something. That's true. Yeah, that's often what the the verb. Uh, you've done this activity before, I think, right? No. Oh, good. This is new information. Good. All right. <laughs> research will show. Oh, good. I'm glad. These days, the there is a rising blank for solar panels. Demand. Demand. Right. Yeah. Rising demand means 
people, the public wants it, and they're demanding it, right? Uh, the automobile industry, smaller cars are uh, the current trend. Yeah. Trend. Yeah, like a fad, right? Like it's something that's happening just now, modern. Many people are learning to blank shorter answers to conserve water. Showers. Take. Yeah, take. You take a shower, right? And you take a bath, right? That's the verb that you use with shower and a bath. Take it, right? Uh, in the future, you will t uh, take less electricity to run. to run appliances. That's right. I run appliances. I take a shower. Um, yeah. Okay. Cool. Let's see. Degrees. Pedestrian. Okay. There's some other verbs up here. Think what? These are actually a little more challenging. Let's say these together. Ready? Breeze. Breeze. So, yeah. Breeze. Z. That, that sounds like the word breathe, which is, you know, air in and out. But a breeze is a light breathe. wind. You know, it's like wind. Breeze. Is, what's a drought, everybody? No water. Um, that's right. No water. Everything is dying because of water. Right. No water, right? And dust <coughs> is like dirt. Yeah, that's right. Dirt. Exactly. Dust is actually made from human, human skin. Uh -huh. uh, that You won't need to know that. Okay, generate means to, what's another word for generate? Generation. <laughs> comes from that, was, no, yeah. I generate, a, I, I generate $200 a day with this business. Make. Make it, yeah, to make. Yeah. A generator makes electricity. Okay, so, so to generate means to make, yeah. And uh, I don't know, it's something about generation with that, maybe making new people, right? Generation. Yeah, that's good thinking, though. Right. Generation is just one thing new like this, and generates new. It's just action and one okay. sound. Think of it that way. Sure, if you can remember it that way, that's good. Harsh. Your comment about her mother was harsh. It's it was harsh. Mm -hmm. You uh, you, tr you tried to make a funny joke about uh, about about her about her appearance, but it was very harsh instead. Huh? That me. It's very mean, yeah. I think it's a good synonym for that. Harsh is really cruel. Have you heard that before? Yeah. Or cruel. too strong. I think harsh is a good word for a uh, synonym for that. It's just too uh, too strong. Right? I can describe music as being harsh, right? <coughs> yeah, it's har yeah, exactly. Harshing. It's just too strong. This uh, the flavor of this meal is too harsh. You know. You, the, the, the joke you made was too harsh. It was just, yeah, too much. Uh, humid means there's water in the air. Okay, I live on the outskirts of, uh, I live on the outskirts of Houston. Outskirts. Yeah, kind of far from the city. It's similar to the suburbs, right? Uh, suburbs is an example of an out outskirts, kind of the outs of outside part of the uh, city. Sugarland is on the outskirts of Houston. Yeah. Uh, sometimes outskirts is associated with like a very uh, small and poor town. Sometimes I associate it with poverty. Sometimes, uh, and not maybe not a safe place. Katy, I know, exists on the outskirts of uh, Houston, but it's nice, you know. But sometimes I use outskirts to just associate associate something that's not part of the central city. Maybe a bad neighborhood. I don't know. Maybe. All right, everybody say pedestrian. Pedestrian. What's another word for that, huh? Passenger. Yeah, it's a walker. It's a, it's a person walking on the street as opposed to driving, right? Uh, renewable, you guys know that. Resources, yeah. self-sufficient, yeah. and settlement. Yeah. All right, settlement is a place. Yeah. All right. Well, this is, this is another good vocabulary word. This whole thing is kind of tedious. Have you heard that expression? Mm -hmm. Tedious? Yeah. It's hard and it's kind of boring, right? It's like mm -hmm. verbs and all this stuff, right? Alright, um, go on. Okay, well, I'll tell you what, let's, let's find the stuff that's probably most useful to. Well, so a lot of these expressions are consciousness. I'm looking at 247 here. Okay. Uh, I am going to go, okay. I'm, alright, let's say it together. Go out on a limb. Go, go out, out on, on a limb. limb. Yeah, that means I'm going to guess or predict something 
uh, to go out on a limb, it, a good word for that means to risk. Imagine, just imagine, here I am. A limb, here's a tree. A limb is a tree, part of a tree, right? I'm going to go out on this limb. I go farther and farther, and the more and more dangerous it is, the more and more risk I have if I go far out on this limb, away from the tree, um, I have more and more risk. And so often I'll use this ex expression, uh, out on a limb, is to yeah, risk uh, looking foolish, maybe. I'm going to go out on a limb, and I'm going to say that you are 18? Uh, no? Oh, you know, I risked embarrassment there. Yeah. Not exactly. Mm -hmm. It's really good. Yeah. So I'm going to go out on a limb and, and guess. Oftentimes I use it for guessing something. It's the risk of guessing, you know, predicting. There's uh, maybe a little danger in risking or predicting. I'm going to go out on a limb and say that. The world will not end on uh, December 21st, right? Like people are predicting. Whatever, right? Uh, to follow suit, gosh, means to do the same thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. Linked to, you can see yeah. that, outskirts. Uh, reluctantly, yeah. hey, let's say that word, reluctantly. Reluctantly. Yeah, you do it, but you don't enjoy it, right? Okay, sounds like you know that one, all right? Suspended, means temporarily, not going to participate, you know, um, temporarily stopped or paused, you know, I'm suspending all talking right now, so for a short time you can't talk, right, and I'll resume later, yeah. resume is kind of the opposite of suspend, if a child is suspended from school, they're being punished, they're not being, they're, they're <coughs> They're not going to come to school for a short amount of time. Suspension. Yeah, okay. Shift, overhaul, uh, reluctantly, let's see. Well, that is out of the question. That is out of the question. Huh? You want to, you want, hmm? you want to do that? That is out of the question. Nonsense. What's that? Nonsense. Nonsense. Pretty good. Yeah, yeah. So expression I use to mean absolutely no, absolutely not, like nonsense maybe. <coughs> that is out of the, you want to uh, stay at your friend's house, <coughs> uh, you're only 12 years old. So that is out of the question, there needs to be parents there too, absolutely no. Out of the question kind of means like don't even ask, you know. <laughs> Don't even ask. It's like out of the question. It's like not. There's no reason to ask at all. All right, basically. Okay. All right. All right. Uh, and last page. When we, I don't want to go too quickly. I want to look at the words there in the last page, and we'll kind of wrap it up. All right. Again, yeah. If y'all have a question, y'all feel free. To change the course of. The course is like the direction, right? Yeah, yeah. So you could say. I don't know, um, yeah. Zhao often tries to change the course of this class activity, right? I say, hey, let's do this instead, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. The innovations at Apple Computer have changed the course of, uh, of our, of how we interact with each other, maybe. Yeah. Uh, with our technology, the internet has changed the course of social interaction, you know? We don't talk to each other on the tele, or one-on-one, -on -one. It changes the, the way we go about doing something in a big way. The course is kind of like the direction something is going, you know. I think there's other things that change the course of history, right? Wars change the course of history, right? Yeah. Big changes. Okay. Um, cover the costs means that you are able to uh, pay for anything that's necessary to cover, you know. Even if you're at a, at, a, at a restaurant, right, we're all eating together, and I say, tell you what, I'll cover you, meaning like, I will pay for you and me. So, to cover the cost means to satisfy or pay for whatever is needed. All right, to cut back on. Oh, okay, how about this? I need to cut back on caffeine. 
Reduce. You say reduce? Huh? No, uh, not use captain anymore. Not use cap. Okay, I was wondering if someone think uh, no more caffeine ever, right? And you're saying reduce, make less. It's actually make less. It's, a, it, it's right. To cut back on is to reduce. I uh, cut back on fats in my diet, for example, or I uh, cut out fats. Okay, that means uh, zero percent fat now, right? You're trying to think of cutting out, remove, which is remove. All right. And your what we're talking about here is uh, cut back on, which means uh, reduce, make less. <coughs> we need to cut back on the playtime, right? We need to do more work, right? <laughs> no, we need to cut back on study, study, <laughs> whatever, whatever you want to say. Yeah, yeah. Anyhow, uh, cut out. You know. Oftentimes, I'll use that instruction. Hey, cut that out, right? You can stop it. Stop doing that. Remove it. Okay. Eat their fill is to eat enough, you know. Hey, there it is. Go out on a limb. <coughs> hold this ground. Uh, to hold your ground is to mean like Stop. I am. Freeze. Yeah. <laughs> you get the right idea. Yeah, that's the right idea. Yeah. Um, if you hold your ground, that's like you're in an argument, right? I think this is good. You think this is bad, and you're trying to you're trying to change my mind, right? It's like, no, Jeremy, this is bad, yeah. and I say, no. Study is it's bad. It's good, you know. <laughs> Maybe you know what? Maybe, okay. Yeah, yeah. study. So, study no. is bad. Study is bad. Study totally bad. No, I'm gonna Your hold my ground, Miss Zhao. <laughs> she's, she's good. It's the idea of being stubborn, like you, right? Stubborn, right? Bullheaded. You hold your ground. I, it comes from the idea of uh, warfare, right? Yeah. You know, your, your, your army comes and try, attacks you, you hold your ground, you don't let them. Shoot them. Well, yeah, you shoot them and they cannot pass, they cannot move you, you know? <laughs> All right. Uh, kind of holding your ground is like being committed to your idea and being stubborn. Um, okay, you stand to lose, that means you probably will lose. That's a prediction word, you know? You stand to lose something, and you uh, you probably uh, will um, uh, lose something. If you roll up your sleeves, what are you doing? Willing to do everything. Fantastic, good. Yeah, you're getting ready to work. Hey, and you notice during the presidential election, all the presidential candidates are doing this. There's a symbol in our mind that doing this means I'm ready to work. So all the presidential candidates on TV always roll up their sleeves. You know. All right, you strike a deal, you make a deal. Yeah. Y'all ready? Y'all feeling good? I'm, I'll, I'll stick around here if y'all have any more questions about anything, but we're good. Yeah. We're finished. Feel free to, yeah, stick around if you want, but you're, you're free to go. Okay.